corner, weighing in a 76-pound soaking wet, the rolling wonder, the sultan of spin, trash can champion, T.J. Detweiler! <laughs> and in this corner, the challenger, tipping the scales at 112 pounds in his socks, the big kahuna, the lovable lummox, our own Mr. Mikey! <laughs> You guys, I'm scared. Don't worry, Mikey. Based on every law of physics, this is perfectly safe. But that can't be true. It isn't. I was attempting to comfort you. I'm giving 30 to 1 odds on Mikey. Think of it. For a mere dime, you could be jingling milk money the rest of the year. I'm in, man. On your marks. Get set. Go! Go! Well, T.J. Detweiler, what a surprise. <laughs> That's it, pal. You just bought yourself a one-way ticket to Principal Prickley's office. Uh, he's stuck tight. A little troublemakers. If Hank the custodian saw this, he'd say... Trash receptacles are made for trash, not for little boys to ride in. Stand back, kids. I'll just lube him up good and slip him out easy as pie. Miss Finster, you're hurting me. Oh, uh, excuse me, TJ, dear. I didn't realize you were still here. Well, that's that. <gasps> Uh-oh. Looks like I got a jello incident in Sector 5. Guess I better get going. Ah, <sighs> someday, boy, you might grow up to be like Hank. A fine figure of a man. Huh? Don't contradict me, mister. Just keep your old carcass out of those barrels. Are you okay, Miss Feenster? Shut up, you little wart! You there! No sharing! Eat that broccoli! And you! Who told you to put ketchup on those... ...fish sticks? I'm telling you guys, there's something weird going on between Finster and Hank. What are you talking about, Teach? Every time he comes around, she suddenly turns nice. It's just not normal. Maybe it's a grown-up thing. Being nice to each other and mean to us. No, professional courtesy. No, I think it's something else. It's... it's... Love. What? Miss Finster has a crush on Hank. She's always had a crush on Hank. Ever since that day he fixed her drawers. How do you come up with this stuff? Isn't it obvious? They're like Romeo and Juliet, Troilus and Cressida, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Maria Shriver. That's crazy. No, I think Mikey's right, and I'm going to find out for sure. Miss Finster? Yes, my child? That is perhaps the ugliest dress I've ever seen you wear, and you've worn some pretty rank ones. Thank you, dear. Oh, and your perfume? What is it? Oh, de locker room? You smell like my gym socks. Thank you for noticing, TJ. It's so nice to be noticed. <sighs> yep, she's a goner. Well, at least now we know why she's so super nice whenever Hank's around. Yeah, too bad he's not around all the time. Hey, guys, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I don't know. I was thinking about getting more french fries. Listen, if we could get Miss Finster and Hank together, she would be nice all the time. Yeah. No more detention. No more ear yanks. No more nothing. We could get away with anything we wanted. Yeah! yeah. Gotta get I, don't I don't know, you guys. We're talking about people's feelings here. We're messing with fate. Technically, Mikey's right. By influencing the orbit of these two spheres of love, we could potentially change the course of history. Oh, come on, you guys. We'll be making Miss Finster happy, Hank happy, and her ourselves happy. There's no downside. The spark is there, man. All we gotta do is fan the flames. The librarian said this was the most romantic music they had. What are those? They're called records or albums, depending on your generational affiliation. You played on this. Okay, we've got the old music and the old music player. Now all we have to do is get the old people. F. 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 Hmm. Randall. My trusted spy. The only kid around here I can count on. Ah, he's done so much for me. Hmm. B minus. F. Go! Go! Yeah, what do you want? Uh, uh... Spit it out! There's some kids running in the cafeteria! What? The scissors! Little hooligans! Hey, Hank, there's a big emergency in the lunchroom. What if the milk dispenser's blue? Good sweet, Mike. I told them not to install those newfangled X-17s. They've never been cafeteria tested. Oh, those little monsters. Oh, I've got my cat on Hey, what's going on here? It's not natural to store so much milk. Hey, hey! Uh, oh, little brats! Oh, why won't I get out of here? Oh, uh, dang, what's wrong with this door? Hank? 
Miss Finster, what are you doing here? Uh, well, there was some sort of problem, but now I really don't remember what it was. <laughs> You hear music? Whenever I look at you. You are some kind of woman, Miss Finster. Please, call me Muriel. Great, with Miss Finster gone, we're free! <laughs> hey, we're rolling here! Not anymore. This is our football field from now on. You got a problem with that? Yeah, I got a problem with that. Well, what are you gonna do, cry to Finster? <laughs> Forget it, Spinelli. Let's find something else to do. What's the meaning of life now, diaper boy? <laughs> this is getting out of control. We gotta go see the king. What the? <laughs> Where's King Bob? Big coup. King Bob yesterday's news. Kindergarten's number one now. I don't know about you guys, but I'm sure missing Finster right about now. A. 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 Ah, Randall, my trusted spy. A plus. A. A. She looks so happy, A, doesn't she? A, A, yeah. A, Come on, let's go destroy her life. A. 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 Uh, Miss Finster, could we talk to you? Why, certainly, TJ dear. What can I do for you and your lovely friends? She really creeps me out when she talks like that. Well, uh, I don't really know how to put this, Miss Finster, but we miss you. <laughs> what? I haven't gone anywhere. Not this you, the old you. The way you pulled our ears. And screamed at us. And disciplined us with extreme prejudice. Oh, you kid and your childlike exaggerations. Walk with us, Miss Finster. Ever since you and Hank got together, the whole place is a mess. It's like a dark cloud has blown over the monkey bars. Oh, dark clouds? Oh, why, that's nonsense. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and the school... Hank, I, I need to talk to you. I know, Muriel. There's something I want to say to you, too. I don't know how to put this, but... Me either, but it's, it's over. over. You think so, too? We don't have any choice, Muriel. You and I aren't like other people. We have a calling, and that calling is this. Dirt? Dirt is our calling? No, not dirt. The playground, Muriel. The school, the halls, the grass, the windows, the flagpole, and the kids. They're your calling, Muriel. I know. Without my gentle guidance, they're lost. They need me, Hank. And the school needs me, Muriel. The other day, I walked into the boys' bathroom, and do you know what I found? What? Nothing, that's what. No paper towels in the dispensers, no toilet paper in the stalls, no Santa covers on the seats. And whose fault was that? Mine, Muriel. Mine. Oh, you're right, Hank. If we don't end this now, we'll regret it. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon and for the rest of our lives. Will I ever see you again, Hank? Of course you will, Muriel. Wherever there's a hall that needs a mopping, I'll be there. Wherever there's a urinal mint that needs replacing, I'll be there. Wherever a kid has broken a window or barfed on the floor, I'll be there. All you gotta do is beat me. You know how to beat me, don't you? Just push the phone buttons and hit pound. Goodbye, Hank. I'll miss you. And I you, Muriel. And I you. <laughs> Must you play so hard on these hearts of flesh? Miss Finster, I found this. He used to dust the radiator with it. Thank you, TJ. 